Hey everybody, it's Digico Dotson here, again with another part of my four part Bedrock Crossplay between the Xbox One and Switch Edition. Teach my friend the game, and in this one and the next three parts, you're gonna see me kinda build his house. It took a little longer than I want, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. So, if you like this video, Please hit the like button down below, and if you want to see more from my channel, hit the subscribe. And if you really want to get see it as soon as it comes out, hit that bell notification. I don't mind if you don't. You don't have to do it right away, but if you start liking my videos and watching more of them as it goes, well, then I suggest you hit the bell notification. You don't have to do it just yet. So let's get started. Okay. <laughs> you're, just as, you're just as bad as... Just as bad as what? Me trying to lose my grandma when I go shopping at Walmart. Oh yeah, I had to go grab something. Okay, I'm not even going to be up with that tough part. I think we know that's the tough part in my hand. Oh, there you are. So let's put the Yoshi's house and I can go out to have a cardboard. Grab a funky ball. Okay, this here, 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 this that looks pretty good, right? That's yeah. squiggly green and lime green. Oh, I think I need to. I need the. So I think I did the wrong color. My bad. It's not hard to fix. Hold on, I got it. Hook up. There we go. And we have Yoshi's house. Pretty good, I say. Yeah. Hoping that the people I built them for will come and buy them. For sale? Yeah, someone's got to buy them, don't they? Yeah. No one owns them yet. I'm building them, no one owns them yet. Really weird. Okay. And you know, John, we can always build your house. It doesn't have to look like my house. You can find your nice house design and build it. Only thing is, it will be a little bit bigger than what it will show because I build with the walls. How about if you and I should build a house? I suppose. Well, 
well, here's an idea. Instead of doing here, we can go to a flat world. I think I got one with the basic texture pack. And we can go there. You just have to log out first. You have to, you have to leave first, and then I'll go to that world, and you jump back. Then we can build a house, and I can teach you how to build it. But I don't want to have to tear the house down if it doesn't look good, okay? You can't build one in this world. I, we could, but uh, we have to make sure we do it right. It's not easy to do. Oh. Hmm. I know this looks pretty... Yeah, what is this? Those oh, it's those trap doors. Huh. That looks better as than the old ones up there for the plant the box. Doesn't it, Josh? That kind of looks like a big old barrel box, doesn't it? That's a plunder box. These yeah. are spruce trap doors. That looks much better than these oak ones up against them, like the ones up there. That looks way nicer. I didn't realize. These trap doors look way nicer. I suppose we just gotta figure out what we're gonna build it, and we gotta make sure we don't build two close in the houses. Let's see. Yoshi's house is here. So we'll probably build over here. Or somewhere up one over here, as long as we don't build too close to the ocean or too close to the road. So if I can... Go to the left or the right? How big of a house? Well, depending on... Do you want a small one, a medium-sized one? Well, those are pretty good-sized houses, so if you need... Depending on, if you want like a one-bedroom house like Kiyoshi, well... The kitchen and the living room and dining room are all one room and then you have like a bedroom and a bathroom and another for it, then we won't really need a big one. We just, just gotta remember in this town they need to have bathrooms. Trust me. Yeah. And tell you what, this, if we get this house looking nice, it'll be your house. I'm gonna get you your place. And that won't cost you a thing because you're gonna help me build it. So it won't cost you a thing. Believe me, I'm still trying to figure out how much price it's going to be. So let's see, let's first figure out... Hold on, I got to put my... Hold on. Let's put the stuff for Yoshi's house over here. Next to his house, so while I'm still working, I can do stuff. But let's put all this in here. Because we won't... We won't... Until we figure out how we're going to do it. So, do you want the floor or someone? Hey, I have an idea how to make this work. There. Why not we build the house look a little bit like yours? Okay. And since it is one block up, so one thing we're going to need is we're going to need the stone block to make it one block up. And then we can put the basement. So, what type of flooring do you have in your house? What? What it kind of looks like? Um, been in it so many times. Um, it's a I mean kind of like this model, except a little bit modified or what? Pretty much like that. Well, what kind of? I think the best for the look here when it turns. We use I think acacia will probably be the best one to use. There's wood and laminate. Well, it's going to probably be all one floor, like in there you see how it's all one floor? Yeah. So this way it looks nice. And we can always put carpet and rugs down by using the wall. So let's see here. So we're going to be using that for the foundation. This will be the thing next to it. So... Okay, we don't have carpet stairs. But I think for your stairs going down, we'll use that one. And I think we could probably use a slab for the stairs to get into the door. Probably best is to use the oak door here, a dark oak door for your door. So your house is gray. Kind of a darkish gray. Yeah. But do you really want a dark gray in this building? Uh, maybe make it a little light gray, a little lighter. Like gray or how, what's your favorite color? I don't have a favorite color yet. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so we'll make it like, oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Red or blue, that really doesn't look good on the house. 
Actually, Why don't you make it like an earth tone color, like a light brown or a light gray? Well, there's only the this is the only brown color for concrete. Tell cards are a little darker than this one. But that actually that what does that work? Oh, that should work with that door. And the Naya Touch Pack, this will be red. Trust me, it'll be red. Oh yeah, and this one have Yoshi spots when you um if you will come in this one when it's in the Mario the Texture Pack. Shit. So we have that. Now your roof. That's, this is going to be funny, but there's only really one good roof. And it's not going to match. But this is pretty much what I use for a roof. If I do it. That's the same roof to block that, that I use for stills up there. That's fine. And then your light source could be, well, you could probably use redstone, but I don't. Oh, by the way, I do have to do one thing. When I double wash um, the inside, it's going to be like a different color wall. So we'll probably use something like carpet, a uh, wall for the wall to make it a little bit different. We have to wash. We either use a glowstone, or these two pretty much have the same light source. So either one of these will work. And these will pretty much be your light tank. In Yoshi's house, if you saw how I got them in there, or in, you see the window of Yoshi's house, you can see how they're in there in the ceiling. That's kind of be like yours. So when your house like starts putting up, you will have like a little bit of a dead space up above. That has to make sure it's light up. So you, if this was ever in survival, you don't have monsters spawning in your house. Now, if I look at this way, let me get these two out of here. We are going to need white concrete for the ceiling and what we could do is maybe for like your walls, I was thinking kind of a light blue for most of the room's walls except for maybe the kitchen will have a different uh, more solid color which with that we could probably use Well, that was the one. Why not? Well, back that block. Thing. You could probably use this gray, which is terracotta for your kitchen and your, maybe your bathroom. Yeah. You don't ever want to use wool in your kitchen. Even though it won't catch on fire here, it just doesn't look right. Okay. Well, pretty much like that. So those are the blocks. about all of them for now. We'll build the basement once we build the main size house. So if we start with this one. Let's see here. So that's Yoshi's house. So I, okay, dumb dummy. Where did I put my shovel? There it is. So let's do this up here. So you have two doors, one in the front and one on the side. So if I do this right, so we have enough space, if I go like this, no, that's not going to work. That doesn't really use shit. Go away, you. So that's the point of this way. Picture of your house real quick. I'm trying to put this out. You see that one window. You have a two by window. There's two by. The window would be there. Books. I'm gonna have to make it like about like that. So 
that when I put in the wounds. I do the rounding. So if I put in the wound the space. be a little bit bigger than what is in the after house. So then it would come to here. Front door will be about right here. What we do is right here we have that. So if I grab the slab real quick. So you just, this will be your step in. So we go this way. Your door will be sitting right there. This real quick. Now the cool thing about this is when you have the other wall, it will sit right here and then be embedded in. And that will allow me to do this little pathway. Most of these houses don't have garages. <laughs> You may need a garage. No. <laughs> that on your shit. <laughs> yeah, I know your mom's not thinking about that. <laughs> In this world, no. Oh, you're not going to have that closet up against your thing either. That's, that's something else that might not come in here. Closet. where your ceiling will be. So as you can see on this side, this is where your wall will stop because your floor starts right here. So if I showed you, your inside wall would stop right up here. 
And your window will look kind of like that. What do you think? Yeah. That looks good. I'll probably do it to this kitchen window just so it looks a little bit more right. And that will make it nice. Oh, I like how you have two different sizes of windows. So we build up this wall. So you have your five blocks high. Since you're not going to have a second floor, I don't have to go seven blocks. I only have to go six because the six is where the roof line will overlap. This is going to be interesting. So that's pretty much how tall your thing is. So you don't have a window on this side as far as I know, right? On the side of the kitchen, there's no window, right? Uh, no. Only on the bed. Only on the bedroom, right? Uh, there's a window on the left. So, so if I'm standing here, the window's only on the left of me, right? So there's no window on the right. Or is there? Uh, Where's your sink at? So I know your stove and your fridge is over here. The sink's over here. Is there a window over the sink? Um, yeah, it's kind of by the kitchen sink. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> yeah, you up there real quick? Look on there. So if I grab the sink up real quick. Okay, so that's where the sink is. So we'll have to put a two by two window right here. That will give you, yep. So there's your window in the kitchen, so that gives you your kitchen window, your two kitchen windows. So. Yo, I'm out. Hey, wait, wait a minute. What's going on here? <laughs> not, have this not this there. Right. It's not done yet, John. I know. This would be the room. Come on down. I figure I'll fall. See that one. Okay. But I know. Oh, you're doing the basement. No, I'm just doing the stairwell. Can't get out there. That means that I go down one more. Well, okay. okay, now we invite. Now we won't hit that when we go in. So that tells me where the hallway is. That tells me how far I have to go. So I got the. Let me you Damn it. So I can put this here because this will kind of go down into the basement a little bit. And I knocked the floor down, knock the stairwell out. I'll the basement a little bit later. I was just trying to figure out where the stairwell was. Because I needed to figure out where this goes. So I take the stairs out real quick. Inventory. So this is where the hallway will be, which will have the matching. So the bedroom will be, well, the first room will be right here. Yeah, I thought so. Little trouble. I want to make sure you have somewhere with the size bedroom drums that they use. Oh, I think this is about the same thing. Maybe I'll be a little bit wider because I got to that one back and forth too. So if I put this here, if I put okay, so your bathroom, so you have a little bit here, then you have a gap, one put three to a gap, so I can see. Make it two, two I gap should be good. And most of my houses have three, so I have to kind of use three. Door will be like there. Okay, 
I got to use this temporarily because that I got the room wall. No, the walls of your room is probably better because that means they're somewhat different colors. So, so the doors that go like here look sort of decent. Except you can't add a surround bar. No, that's the only thing. <laughs> well, to make this work as a shower, I'm going to have to make it three wide to make the shower head in the right spot. So it's going to be three by sh three. So the shower head, when the wall is kind of built in, the shower head will sit right here on this. You're going to have to choose that. Look at your inventory and see what color you want for your bath. Cause I cannot. Cappy, you have got to go up some. Gotta go somewhere. Thank you, Cappy. Go over there. Okay, fine. I'll put it here. As long as you stop bugging me, Cappy. Let's see here. So that means the bedroom's gotta go here. Oh, that's gonna be one. That's gonna be some nice white bedrooms. And this is terracotta. If you want bright colors, this will give you that. If you bring this down, that will give you that. Terracotta is the same color, but then it's a little darker in this basic color. But these are all that. They're pretty much the same. The set light gray is actually really weird in the wall, so I wouldn't use the wall. But I gotta see what color you're gonna be using. So we're using light blue walls for your things. Color for the walls. The walls uh, are. Um, I think the wall color is like the walls are like a uh, a cayenne color. I would use that for the walls. Okay, so 
um, this um, top is there. This is where that's going to be. Interesting, isn't it? So, this would be your walk color. And your head will go right there. Like those walls, they'll go higher. So, this is your wall. I have to put the toilet up. Whatever this wall is. You don't mind if your toilet says like way up against the wall, do you? No, it's fine. Good because I think the only way I can do it. I got the toilet. There's this there's a vanity too, right? Vanity. It's gonna go on the other side. I I can't put the toilet exactly on the same side as your stuff. Because of how this house is laying out so I'm just leaving. I don't want great comfort in here. That I use, which is, I think that's not yeah. You might want to move. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you stand, yeah, move. And I'll put your toilet, see, right here. It's going to go up against the wall, fortunately. Okay. okay. Your band is going to probably go right around here next to the top. To so see you can walk in here. Yeah. So you know it's not quite right. Got this. But your toilet was the penis there. Got the wall there. <laughs> dum dum. Oh shit. Well, I want them toilet. At least I give you a bathroom. Yeah. There's your lid. Looks kind of weird, but that's your lid. Okay. So if we go this block real quick, this one, and I got the cotton table too. I don't need 64 cotton tables. So, so this is your thing, and this makes up the half of the vanity. Oh, that's cool. So that's how it pretty much look. So right now, I think we are, yeah, we gotta do all the one more, and then we have the five walls. Now, now your walls all the same color in the bathroom when it comes, is it like all white? Like the, is the shower then comes up, doesn't it? This white that will make up the tub, walls ain't the same color as the tub. Yeah, almost. Okay, so I'm going to have to use this block. I have to use what's going all the way up instead of just adding it slightly. Now what I'm going to do is, it's not going to go all the way up, because I know it doesn't do that in all houses. I do it on most of my houses. So it will go up four, but it will stop at the fifth block. Because that's kind of what it looks like to me. Yeah, and there's a little, um, it's kind of like a splash, a white splash board by the, by the upstairs bathtub where the shower is. And then there's a, some splash board by the vanity. Like too. that? Yeah. I'll bring it up on my block. There you go. Oh, let's just make it one level off vanity. That way if there was a meal, it will sit right here. There is no meal, trust me, there is Want to put a little mirror there? There's no mirror in in them here. That's the problem. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's no mirror. There's no mirror. Oh. So that makes these bedrooms a little bit wider and longer. But that's okay. At least now we have an idea. We'll pick out the wall. So now we have kind of an idea what we're dealing with. So we have to figure out what colors your bedroom is. One good thing is you can change, the walls don't have to look out the same colors in the house. This house you can do whatever colors you want to the inside bedroom. I was just doing the bits to figure out how to do this. So I don't need these. So that's good. So we bring this one over here. Oh yeah, that. Look for that table most of the time. Right next to the sink. Why well, have to 
see is granite forces. So this is the outer wall. So we have this coming around. We're going to have to figure out where your window is going to be. So you have a window in here, but I'm going to do one thing different compared to what your mom did. You're just going to have a two wide window right there. bathroom is not going to have any bigger than too wide. You're going to have to come, come around this side, Josh. Yeah. Or go into the bathroom, look through the bathroom window. Now, so we have to put a window this way, in this section. So we put a three wide window here. Oh yeah, I can see that. in the same spot here. Maybe right here, but only a two right. Kind of mimic the front kitchen window. That will give us that window. And I'll give your bedroom two windows and you will have space to hide a bed. And you can always, I can always make the bed like the ones I do in the Mario. They look like a bigger bed, but it's the original bed is hiding inside of it. Well, you gotta figure out what your room's um, inner wall is gonna look like. So let's first just get this outer walls figured out. So that's gonna be that. So we have that. So now we have the room over here. So we get the wall for the outside back again. Figure out the awful one. So this is going to be the good one. Okay, now it's going to be the good one. It's going to go there. Okay, the other. The good one goes right here. I had to spin this a little bit because of the stupid bedroom you have in this house, on this side of the house, it's actually much bigger. So this is going to be a small indent there. Oh well. Sometimes you can't help the indents. Here, so we spin this all the way over here. So that will give us that. Well, we have a slight little problem now. The window needs to be moved over. window here. Okay, you also got a bedroom in the back um, basement. So we got that. Now you have two windows instead of just the one. <laughs> it's kind of funny. My mother showed me the house that she almost wanted to buy almost around Minnesota Avenue and then I forgot where it was. <laughs> How did you do that? So we got the, so this is going to be the ceiling. The ceiling will pretty much be everywhere. It's just a contrast white. So this will fit pretty much up there on all the black walls. 
on these brown walls and have this. So the walls come up to this point here. So they all have that for the center. It's the bathroom's putting something like this. The final touches. Yeah, there's a sheep in there somewhere. Oh, and it's in your house. Oh my goodness, you're a kid. <laughs> yeah, turn around. Go in your living room and look in here. Go in this spot. Now that's the bedroom. This area. You got a pet sheep. Do you have a pet sheep? Hi. <laughs> what the heck are you doing in here? Probably glowstone actually looks pink in the other texture. So see that the probably the windows will be used the site will probably be using for light, but when the room is done it will probably for you the bathroom's gonna have this real little light effect. But it should look like this. That's how the light look. Shower head will probably be right here or here, depending on how I need to make it look like. It's good, right? But this is pretty much, I have to put water in here. I might not put water in here if you don't want the water in there when you want to use the shower. What did we have? Well, back to what you call an interesting episode. Vegas started at his house, and of course the camera decides to be a pain in the butt and die. But still, like I said, this is definitely not a capture card. It's his DSLR camera, and believe me, it's the best I can do until I can get a capture card. So please don't get mad at me if it doesn't look perfect. I have to look up getting the capture card. But I'm hoping you guys like this, because there will probably be more videos like this. Hopefully in the future, capture card. And like I said in the beginning, like and subscribe, like, hit the like notification down below, and subscribe if you really like the videos and want to see more. The bell notification, I'm going to tell you this, you don't have to do it right away, you can do it if you want, but that's up to you. Bye!